Okay, so it's Tuesday afternoon, 4.54 p.m. Sunset from lovely Hinchinbrook, southwestern Sydney. Currently at about 35 kilometres southwest of the city of Sydney. We're just angling some clouds that are above the lovely blue mountains. so I can uh, check if there's any meteors coming down. Perhaps we'll get lucky. Uh, I haven't posted one for some uh, all year, I believe. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have been looking. I do film daily. I've spent, jeez, uh, probably about 45 minutes filming the moon today. Let's see if I can catch any discrepancies, but... <laughs> There's nothing untoward happening by the looks of things. Okay, now we've got the sun dissected by a low line cumulus cloud of some degree or another. People practically make clouds up by the month these days with all the over engineering that Tends to happen in the big cities. God, he's having another look out. Uh, they're very fickle, these things. But, um, these meteor objects from the X system that fall down are near impossible to catch looking through the camera lens. Just have to keep your eyes to the skies. And it's pot luck from there. See something well on the horizon uh, to the right. You just get a bearing on it. It's near the house there. No, that's nothing in the ordinary. You can see clear like these are falling. Because the sun is. It's lovely. Setting over the Blue Mountains, most of Sydney. Uh, Blue Mountains National Park is approximately uh, 100 kilometres long, but it's a part of the Great Dividing Range that starts up uh, at the top north of Queensland and heads all the way down to Victoria and then bends its way over towards into South Australia and becomes part of another range. Uh, its greatest height is uh, 2,243 metres or something, which is um, Mount Kuziosko, which is our highest mountain in Australia. Not a mere foothill in the States or Africa or the Himalayas or Europe, but we well, have to take it for a mountain. In west of Sydney, it's... Um, uh, it's all right, yeah. West of Sydney, it's... Um, thousand meters at uh, Katoomba. Okay, he's catching the last rays of the sun now. That's it. Kiss the sky. That's all we have. Okay, we've got a tower up there, it used to be 5G in nature. Uh, I've also got a side along here of a couple of more above that roof to the right of it. There we have an antenna tower there with several 5G components and that's the one where I intend to do sunrise tomorrow morning. At a place we call Moonrise, we've been going up there since I was a kid. Um, it's just tricky, the goats aren't supposed to open until sunrise, but 
because some of the times they're out by 6, 6.30, so if it's not out by 6.30, I'll head to this car past the road place, which is actually about 50 metres lower. That's a good 240 metres I see right up the top of that um, thing there, but probably about 180, 190 metres above um, sea level. So, as long as the gate's open at 6.30, so uh, that's going to be my sunrise tomorrow because my child's been sick with COVID-like symptoms and um, temperature of 100 degrees. So we kept him home from school yesterday and then today, but he's quite ill. And taken um, paracetamol and cough mixture and stuff and uh, I don't think they're going to let us turn him back to school tomorrow. I'll take him off to the doctors tomorrow and get a doctor's certificate for the few days he's had off. So we got some weird looking clouds there. Uh, that's a dark patch where the sun set. I'm not actually looking through the camera again. My eyes are to the skies for any meteor activity we could come across. Uh, well, it's always usually in the region of the sun. Usually. We've got some very pinkish clouds. Most of the dust in the air here, but goodness knows. I think the count's down to about three chemtrails in the past three months. And our state to the south, Victoria, has a couple of hundred cases and 65 cases overnight. I think we had one fresh case overnight. That was in our hotels. They're putting them in for two weeks. Um, there will only be about single-digit current cases in uh, the state of New South Wales at the moment. That's the lovely Blue Mountains in the frame there. Manfoot Hills, but closest thing we got to mountains in New South Wales. Um, let's stand back a bit so I can look through the camera and try and find anything falling down. That's a beautiful sight. I remember I used to do this every day. Alright, uh, yeah, responsibilities now, taking care of my elderly mother and some of you would have seen my son on camera before, he's nearly six foot now, he's only 11 but he has cerebral palsy and autism and epilepsy and stuff which we handle the epilepsy with uh, some medication there for me, that's pretty cool and he hasn't had a seizure for some months now. It says less stress for dad. But, um, I was mentioning the young guys because uh, you know, until I reached Joshua he has uh, school holidays which commence next Monday therefore I'll be able to get sunrise in the zero degree temperature every morning and most often days I'll be able to make up here sunset to or before the sun starts heading from where it's set in that vicinity where we're getting those clouds soon it's going to start heading southwards towards that direction and when that happens it's going to become a problem because it's going to get stuck behind those houses for a couple of months I'm uh, going to have to head up to the hills to get the uh, sunset because it just won't be viable here unfortunately there's just too much else in the way. Ah, uh, I'll find somewhere. What's that? Another object rising. Ah, uh, cloud. And put past another sun coming over the horizon. Some of the things I've seen in my time of studying this. Things have been over there. It's funny, it's leveling off there at a thousand metres higher. Oh, just in that section. A bit of height of about a thousand metres ceiling. Strange. 
for the strange sun beams that just stands up. Get this sick of being on the haunches. Oh, the head spins. And the head is spinning. Okay, the really interesting thing that's happening really uh, seems to appear to be those beams that's coming up from where the sun set. Can't see any other objects rising or any objects falling. So we might leave it at that, guys. Some lovely sun beams. Shaded by the clouds, no doubt. And that's it. Okay, I'll catch you all with a sunrise tomorrow. Thanks, guys.